Hey guys, Bruce here. All right, uh, what have we got here? A Craftsman 6.5, 21 inch, I believe. It runs. Be still my heart. The guy who gave it to me told me that the crankshaft was bent. So let's just pump it up a little bit and we'll do a review. So I left this one sit because it's, uh, it's mine. It's not, it doesn't belong to somebody else and there's no rush. Look at this. So this was scraping on the ground and he thought the blade was going up and down. Well, yeah, the blade is going up and down, but just on one side because of that bend there. All right, let's get that blade off of there and we can check it size for the one I found. Good. Nice. So look at this guys, my friends. This is my 21 inch blades that I've got. Now, 21 inch blades get damaged a lot because there's a lot of torque uh, when they hit something. But this one looks like our buddy, right here. And, okay Klaus, you're going to laugh at me. But when I cut the tie wraps, I cut it underneath the catch. I take that out and then I can reuse it to a point. So, here is a 20 inch blade. Looks like it's a Craftsman or MTD. Look at that. Look at that. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? As long as it's... As long as it's uh, not bent. So, I'm going to take a measurement here. I'm looking at 7 eighths, and then we'll do that. Right? Oh, we'll just turn it over this way. No, well, it looks good. And uh, I think that's our bleed. Do we even keep this one except for putting it on the man wall? Look at that. I can actually hang it on my hand. Good going, Brewster. It needs a sharpen, though. Gotta get it sharpened. Thanks. There, that's a nice fit, eh? It's nice and sharp, but then I always dull them a little bit just so that if you hit a rock or something, you don't get a big gouge in the sharp edge. The grass knows. So that's great. So now we just have to uh, finish the tuna. Isn't that cool? Oil. Hi. Uh, oil. Air filter. Spark plug. And I want to keep it because it's a quantum. I love them. I think you guys know that. And I'm sorry it's dark in the back there. But I got one more blade to do. Something happened. Muffler. 
bolt. So those muffler bolts are expensive, but uh, I think we got some in the in the hoard. Okay. All right. So you saw this bolt missing on the uh, muffler, right? Now look at the date on this guy. We can do this, I think. 04, 2004, March 11. Right there. So this mower is 20 years old. And it's in really good shape. And one other moment of fun. So, I know what this man did for, uh, for his career. He did blinds. He had, a, he had a little blind company. And look at that, eh? This is uh, the handlebar. Right up here to there. And this is a repair. It's tight. But he used a drywall anchor with a number 8 Robertson, Canadian Robertson screw to hold that handlebar together. Now, I don't mind that kind of repair because it worked. But I can definitely fix that. <laughs> Let's look at the air filter while we're mucking around here, eh? Pretty bad. It's been blown out, but it's falling apart. Look, it's even cracking on the rubber. That's okay. We'll get another one. Thank. Oops. Thank. We got this bracket off that, that the previous owner had, and I put one of my. Oops, excuse me. And I put one of my. Uh, Hordes in there, you know. I'll show you. Sorry. Right. Where is it? Right there. And now I went out to my shed where I keep the small pieces and the big pieces, and I found I found uh, a little bolt. These are hard to find if you don't like. They're a real shoulder bolts, but they're long with a small thread. But I have a couple of them in the shed yet. Now you should be able to see what I'm doing. Not quite, eh? <laughs> Put you down on the on the uh, camera mount or who's here. Okay, here we go. Hold this guy over. When I bent this on the vise, I just put a tiny bend in the end. There. Now, is that it? Chassis repairs? Yes, just for the air filter, which we'll do later. I'm going to start it up, let it run, change the oil, and then put the air filter on, and I think that's done. Did I ever look at the fuel in here? It's been about a week, actually. Oops. There we go. Did I ever look at the fuel? Hmm. Well, there isn't enough in there to keep it running. And there 
there's some over there. I'm going to just tilt it towards me carefully. Yeah. I'm tempted to just dump it out, you know that? But sometimes it's easier to do it on the ground. Blade sharp. I gotta do this guy next. His wife has a truck, she works till five. Alright, I'm putting the air filter on. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can go that way. Or you can go this way. You can go that way. Nice, eh? So that's it. New blade sharpened. Oil change. Air for, oh, I never did check the plug. I, and it's, well, I think it's the original plug. Now I have friends that change plugs every day, right? Right here. Do it this way. Yeah. We'll just have a look at it. It might never have been out, you know. Well, it looks pretty good. I'm going to clean it up. It's got black paint on it, which means it's the original plug to the engine, and it's a 2004, which makes it a 20 year old machine with the original plug. Quantum, baby! And that's, an, and that's a flathead, which means the valves are in the block. So that's burning pretty clean for a flathead. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm just measuring this plug. I'm measuring ohms. And first I want to go plug to plug on the end. The little electrode should be about... Is it an R? Yes, it's a... Are, so it should have about 10,000 ohms or so. 15K, that's fine. And then from ground to ground, and from ground to tip, should be good. Oh. Or from tip to ground. Oh, that's a good plug. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So this lawnmower is going to start, run, and go. It's got clean fuel too. Oh, I wanted to show you that plug. I've had a good couple of days here. Okay, let's lower this down to halfway. And we'll uh, put the bag on. Oh, oh. <laughs> something's crunched. Shot. Yes, you are. A little further down. It's got an air filter. Prime. It was just running, but I had to plug it. So. There.
if you have. Are you guys still watching this or are you not? Yes, you are. Good. So right at the end, I was setting the RPM. 3,120, which is great for a 20-year-old mower. Don't let that disturb you. I set them a little low. Even the Hondas I set them a little bit low. Not every, not every engine has to run at its 100% maximum, right? Vibrating. Okay guys, that, that one's done. So, adjusted the RPMs, cleaned the plug, changed the air filter, changed the oil, repaired the bars, he had that drywall bracket on there, changed the blade, and uh, just adjusted everything that I could adjust, and now we're going to put it away until I until I decide what I'm going to do. I love these quantums, man. There's not many around anymore. Oh, no. There's fewer and fewer of them around now. Let's just get a little better shot in the light. Oh! <laughs> See you later.